have a special request um, and we will talk about the footwork and the leg action which I really like to have those kind of lectures uh, in my group classes I like to talk about the legs I think it's important not only for the girls I, I always say like for the girls is it our second phase because what part of our body is open, yes, when we perform this face and our legs. So it's our second face which we really have to develop. That's the thing we connect with the floor. So everything goes from the floor and if we are really have a knowledge how to use our feet and how to connect our body weight to our foot, it's very, very important for your balance, for your improve, or improvements and for your dancing in general. Is it clear? Is it? What is stronger in your body, bone or muscle? Bone, yes, because bone is heavier. Yeah, and I would like to also talk with you today how to connect your bone, not how to tighten your muscle, how to connect your bone to the foot and to the floor. The main difference for me between ballet and ballroom dancing, do you know what is the difference? style is different, the look is different. For me, uh, if we talk about the footwork, for me it's one main difference, that in ballet, dancers are using mostly free leg. So they project the action and they concentrate more about the free leg. In ballroom dancing, we have to concentrate our attention and work our standing leg. Our free leg is only as a tail, you know? It's always continuation, but it's not main action. So, and many dancers are keep forgetting. They so much care about the free leg, how to point the toes, how to point the leg, but it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't really help you in your dancing, in your movement, in the quality of the move. Today we also will discover how to use the standing leg. What, what is important to, uh, to, in order to move, what is important to use, which part of your foot. Before we just start the visual warm up, but then I will explain you how to use your foot, how to push off from the leg, how to use your leg during this exercise. And then in the box basic, I will explain you how to use rotational action in your standing leg, okay? So we have two, um, two basics. First, we start with just progressive basic. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's try with music. In general, if we dance in just rumba walk, uh, two and three is something similar to the swing. You, you know what the swing? Yeah. So two, three, we just move our body weight. We not so much care about our footwork. But very, very important, but uh, very common mistake I see when you, for example, swing your body, yes, and you you move two, three, four, one, and then it's become like snowball. You cannot stop. So two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. It's very, very important to get the control at count four. And your four, you have to feel that your body weight are still between two legs. So it's not four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Your four, four. Your heel, your back heel is just maybe a quarter up from the floor. Now, I like to use this exercise again. This uh, basic you can use as a warm up as long as you understand the principle. Now we will have eight counts. Yes. So when we arrive on four, try right now keep two heels on the floor. And now eight counts to lift your back heel from the floor. 
four counts it's when you just elevate your heel up one two three four now the second four is body weight transferring on the center of your foot of your front foot and rotation in your back foot one two three four that's in the perfect situation what you have to pass through even with the slow uh, with the music yeah, so we not throw, we not throw our body weight right away. We have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then we go two and three and now when we go backward again, it's not right away point. We use one, two, three, four on the ball of the foot. Now one, two, three, four, we go to the full extension and two and three and. One, two, three, four. I, I need to see how you use your back heel. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, stop. Keep your leg long in the back. Yes, and rotate through your thigh. Sorry. And continue. And two and three and four. One, two and three and four. Three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, and two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one. Yes. <clears throat> very, very good. Let's try with music. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. already high heel and very important this uh, step backward I very often I see like your leg is empty this leg for me it's maybe pretty but it's empty I really like to see when girls are moving backward for you guys it's even easier much easier job than for us because we are doing the high heel you have this space to work your foot so especially with the step backward I really want to see worked foot I like to see this development on your foot till your toes and two, three. Not right the way beautiful, beautiful leg and front and just empty. Yeah? So we have to, we have to work. We have to work the ball. We have to work the toe. And then we go. Uh, uh, it is completely finger, finger power or this power. The ball. The ball power. The ball. I feel really, really strong ball. <laughs> Ball. We transfer body weight on the center of our standing leg, right? And we have, we develop on the toes and we rotate the foot even more. That's right. Now, um, the toes, especially for you uh, ladies, we not keep our toes flat and straight. We curl our toes inside the shoe. So this part of the shoe is covering your toes. That's right. And in the end, you have a rotation even more before you take the next step. Yes, guys. Very, very good. Yes. Okay. That's what I call beautiful legs. For me, it's not just the shape of the leg is beautiful, but the way you work your leg. Very, very important when you step forward that your leg not only develop on the ball on the toe, but you have this rotation action in your back foot. The same station when you go backward, 
that you have this rotation action in your foot in the end before you take a step. That's right. You have to finish your extension. This is number one. Number two, right now we will go to your basic box and I want to talk about the standing leg. Not the foot, but uh, leg in general. Okay, so right now we have four, one, two, and three. Four, one, two, three, four, one. Just very simple step. Two, three, four, one. Can we try it with music, please? I just would like to see your basic. <clears throat> Again, don't forget, this is first exercise what we did. Remember, every time in Roomba count four, one, we use the ball and we use the full extension on one. So we have four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's our four, one, yeah? Again, four, one. Now, we have to use our standing leg, not free leg to go. Stand the leg, stand the leg. Push your knee back and rotate your foot slightly diagonal. Now your step will be not forward, a slightly diagonal to the corner of the room. Two and three and side step four, one. Now lift for me your right leg. Twist your stand the leg to the left. Twist your step in the leg to the, uh, to the right. Step back. Now, the action and chill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use the standing leg. That's a great exercise for your standing leg. Now, it's not rondi with your free leg. It's your standing leg and chill. And again, you create the step slightly diagonal. Three and four, one. Use your standing leg and two, three, four, one, 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 and two.